Alright guys, I'm back with a part 2. Um, I haven't uploaded the first part yet, but I thought it would just be interesting to see how it would look in January. So, I think we're going to uh, look... Let's just do Arsenal. I just put Arsenal. <laughs> what? Right, Arsenal. So let's go look at their transfers. See if anything has changed. Okay. <laughs> they made some big signings in the January. Didn't mean to do that one. Ah, I keep pressing the wrong things. Is there any way we can just check? No, I can't. Um, so yeah, they bought Dybala for 100. They loaned so many people out. So you got Dybala for 116. You got Robert Gumni for 5.5. They got Laporte from Atletico Bilbao for 56. Kieran Tyranny from Celtic. They spent 244 million. It's insane. They got Rafinha from Barcelona and Rodrigo. Chow from I don't know what team that is. What team is that? It's called SPO. Is it Sao Paulo? No, Sao Paulo. That's what my I don't know. My guess is, um, Bournemouth spent 141 million. They got Federico Fernandez from Swansea. Uh, oh wait, no, that's. Right, so from down here, we've got Matt Phillips from West Brom for 45 million. Scott Sinclair from Celtic for 18.25. Daniel Was, 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 I don't know, from uh, Salt of Vigo for 12.75. They got Vlad Chiriches from Napo Napoli for 10.5 million. Mario, ooh, Mario Balotelli's made a return to the Premier League. Um. For 13.75, and they signed Oscar de Marcos from Atletico Bilbao for 30 million. Brighton spent 116. Um, oh, they actually ended up getting Kaka. How old is he now? 35. He's retiring in real life, isn't he? Well, um, they got Victor Giorquerez. I'm not even going to pronounce that name. From Sweden. Uh, for 950,000. Mohamed El Neni from Arsenal for 8.75. Ryan Bertrand from Southampton for 40.5. Fernando Lorente from Tottenham for 5.5. Cedric from Southampton again for 20. Rondon from West Brom for 34 and Albrighton from Leicester for 6.5 Spending big money <laughs> Burnley also spent 34 million for Craig Dawson <laughs> Joe Flanagan from Liverpool for 4.6 and Anthony Hartigan from AFC Wimbledon for 375 Is he actually any good? Like is he played? He hasn't even played for Burnley Mind he has only signed like a week ago. Let's see. Leicester. Not Leicester. Why did I say Leicester? Chelsea. They got Thiago from Bayern Munich for 105. They spent 318 million. Jesus. Um, Kaspar Dolberg from Ajax for 20. Quincy Promes from Spartak Moscow for 31. Mateo Delight. Delig. I don't know how to pronounce his name. 47.5 million from Ajax. Anaxis Dinsua. Dinsifua. <laughs> so many difficult names from Standard Liège for 2.6 million. Lucas Dijne from Barcelona for 39 million. And Ruben Vezo from Valencia for 9 million. Crystal Palace. Only spent 65 so far, the least. The low spenders. And of course, Celtics team getting absolutely ransacked again. 
So they got Odian Igalo from Chang Chun, I guess in Chinese. Yeah, Chinese Super League basically. Uh, for 19 million. Alex Smithies from QPR for 8.75. Mikel Lustig from Celtic for 9.5. Uh, Diego Tardelli from Shandong, also in the Chinese Super League, I'm guessing, for 6.25. Uh, what league is that in? South African. Is this guy? So, is this guy South African? Yeah, this guy's South African. Tulani Hilachuel from Wits for 325,000. And finish it off with Ryan Mason from Hull for 18.75. Everton. Every team's throwing a lot of players. Yeah, they got Ryan Sessignon for a seal, a seal, a steal, 1.5 million. <laughs> He's already worth 5.25. That is crazy. They got a steal right there. Um, they got Piano Sisto. Let's just go with their highest spend. Florian Andon from Karuna. They bought two players from Salta Vigo. Luciano Vieto from Atletico Madrid, Terence Congolo from AS Monaco, and Antonio Barreca from Torino, and Santi Mina from Valencia. Oh wait, no, that Santi Mina from Valencia one was uh, in July? Yes. <laughs> Huddersfield. Right, Huddersfield, who they bought. Danny Ward from Liverpool, Franco De Santo from Schalke, but it's Gelson Kirchen on this. James Ward Prowse self from self ha, 73 million for James Ward Why? Why? Like, did he have a good season or something? 7.0 that's not that great, but whatever. Adam Unas from Napoli. Josie Outdoor. What? What? <laughs> what? <laughs> I he had a he had a decent season, I suppose. Um, Admia Mehmedi from by Leverkusen, and again a Celtic player, just ransacked from the club. Tom Rod Rogic and Stefano Denswill from Club Bruges, and Kick Pieri from SC Heronveen. They spent in total 163 million with a big bulk of that. Come from James Ward Prowse. Why that much on him? Leicester haven't actually signed that many players compared to other teams. But they've still spent over 100 million. They got Mohamed Elu, Elu Nusi from ba Ball? Basel? Baz I don't know how to pronounce the name. Uh, Aaron Zahavi. From Fooley. I'm definitely sure I got him on my uh There's a football manager mobile, the last one. I bought him for Sunderland, I think it was. Aaron Zahavi. And he wasn't actually that bad to be honest. He's from Israel, yeah. Um They got Leander Dendonka from Anderlecht for 48 million. And Czech. Uh, Czechu Kyote. Kuyate. Ku what? I can't pronounce it. Kuyate from West Ham. They spent 115 million. Liverpool spent 174 on two. Pl well. Overall, but on two players, the board from Arsenal, both of them, Danny Welbeck for 34.5 and Mustafi for 48.5. And they have loaned out a lot of players. Like, a lot. Man City. 347 million they spent. And they got Eric Palmer Brown for free from Sporting Kansas City. Alexandro they got for 98 million. From Juventus, Franco Servi from Benfica for 44 million, Adam Lalana from Liverpool for 25, Kevin Strootman from Roma for 40, Dennis Mann from what? F 
Football Club FC SB, while they're from Romania, by 1.8 million. They got Rodri and Bakumbu from B Valencia, and William Carvalho from Sporting for 26.5. He is supposed to be like the next big thing, this William Carvalho person. So that's how much they spent. Where am I going? All right, Man United. How much have they spent in total this year? 240 million. They got Musa Dembele from 36 for 36.5 from Celtic. They got uh, Nacho from Real Madrid for 39.5. They got Eric Lamella from Tottenham for 40.5. And they got Pepe from Besiktas for 950,000. And finally they got Sergio Escudero from Sevilla for 21 million. Now into Newcastle. They spent in total of 132 million. Oops. Um, most of their signings came this January transfer window. They got Mikel from Las Palmas, Uzan Tufan from Fenerbahce, Folgan Hazard from Borussia Mönchengladbach, Marcus Rojo from Man United, Jay Rodriguez for from West Brom, Luis Alberto from Lazio, Shane Long from Southampton. Winston Reid from West Ham, Charlie Daniels from Bournemouth. Their highest, well, their most expensive player was Winston Reid, 31 million. Southampton, let's see who they got. They got Marco Piaka from Juventus, Johan Cardinali from OGC Nice, Dominic Silva, I don't know, Dominic from FC Leifering. Christian Ramirez from Krasnodar, Rick Karsdorp, Karsdorp, sorry, from Roma, Valentin Vada from Bordeaux, Domagoj Vida from Dynamo Kiev, Patrick Kutron from AC Milan. The most expensive the player they bought was Valentin Vada from Bordeaux. Was it? This was they spent 138 million. Stoke, let's see. So they got Benteki from Crystal Palace, Roberto Pereira from Watford, Juan P from Malaga, Joe Rankin Costello from Blackburn. They got Anton Tenerholm on a free transfer from uh, No Club because he was a free agent. They got Jesus Corona. From Porto, Wayne Rooney from Everton, Miguel Trauco from Flamengo. Is it? It's only three letter words in it. Three, three letter abbreviation in Brazil for some reason. Yves, Yves Bissouma from Lille. Lassie Vegan, Vegan Christensen, <laughs> Bronby. And Islan Slimani from Leicester. Their high, well, most expensive player was Roberto Perea from Watford they spent a total of 220 million crazy it's crazy that Swansea they have bought a few players oh they got um, Car Carol Linity from Sampdoria Doria, Sampdoria, Leo Dubois from FC Nantes, Isiago Celia from Toulouse, Chris Smallen from Man United, Andy Carroll from West Brom and West Brom West Ham, and Steve Cook from Bournemouth. The most expensive signing was Andy Carroll. <laughs> hey, really? 111 million spent. Where am I going? So Tottenham, they spent 292 million. They got John Godetti from Celta Vigo, Ciro Immobile from Lazio, Jesse Lingard from Man United, Stefan De Vries from Lazio, Mario from Villarreal, Hakim Ziyech from Ajax, and Nebio Fekia from Lyon. Their most expensive signing 
was Immobile from Lazio, 57 million. Watford. Let's see, where does this start? Okay, Rodrigo De Paul from Udinese. Joel Ward from Crystal Palace. Ganso from Sevilla. Adriano from Besiktas. Marco Fabian from Frankfurt. Benoit Costil from Bordeaux. Dante from Nice. Lucas from PSG. Dolan Pabon from Monterey. And Solomon Clue from Herfa. Their most expensive signing was Lucas from PSG. They spent 162 million in total. West Brom. Who have they got? They got Lucas from Atletico Madrid. Lucas Toriak from Sampdoria. Marcel Labitza from Red Bull Leipzig. Ben Woodburn from Liverpool. Joris Gagnon from Stad Renaith. Sim Velajko from Atletico Madrid. Raul Rud Rudias from. <laughs> These words are so difficult to pronounce. Names. Oops, my bad. Uh, Richaro Zivkovic from Ustende. Their most expensive. 72. Why? Why? Did he have like a good se He didn't even have a good season. He only played two games. 72. Why? Why? <laughs> why? Uh, I don't think I'll ever understand why. So, to finish it off here, we've got Milik from Napoli, uh, Antonio Otegui from Atletico Pamplona, Nikolai Jorgensen from Feyenoord, and free signings from Porto, Brahimi. Uh, for 16.5, Andre and Oliveira both on loan. Their most expensive signing this window was 35 million. They spent 68 million overall across the whole season. So yeah, we are back to Arsenal. Let's just see how the Premier League is going. Icardi is the highest scorer. Hazard is the best performing one, and Ozil has the best assist rate. I don't know, is that the right word? But anyways, um, hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, don't forget to leave a like. And I'll probably, I might do a part three where there's like the second season. So uh, look forward to that. And I uh, hope you guys enjoy it. And I'll see you guys in the next video.